Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do some changes in your app.json and after the change, how it will going to look to your extension page. So as you can see here, this is the name of my extension and this is the name of the default publisher. This is the version and this is the app ID. And other configuration is not uh, given yet. If I hover over the website, you can see below a URL link https businesscentral.onimits.com slash sandbox and then runtime equal to one and on help this is also blank because i didn't provide it so let's go back to visual studio code and open app.json file so here from the explorer i can find the app.json file here so double click on it so this is the app.json where i have to do the changes to uh, show some information related to an extension here you can see an app file so last time when i deployed the extension so this was created now i am going to make some changes after again when i again hit f5 a new app file will be created so id is okay this is good i will not gonna change it this is the name of my app package class app i can change it to class app so this is the publisher name default publisher but i am the publisher because i am publishing this extension so i will give my name here the prejudice and this is the first version you can change it to different minor and major versions here i can give the brief description of this app so let's give a description to this app class app for students and teachers for online class schedules again the next is the description here I can give a description for this app so I'm just going to copy this and paste it here this is okay here you can see a privacy statement here I can give a privacy statement URL so for this I am just going to use my website address called free tools so here this is the URL and here in Viola in user license agreement you can give a URL for the license agreement here I can give my portfolio address and this is the help here you can give a help URL so user can from where user can find any help so for this I am going to give my blog address Another is a URL here you have to provide the URL of the app from where a user can download it so just I will again give my URL slash class app this URL so here I can give some logo information that is available logo file part that is available in this package so i will do it later this is the dependency where i can show this app is dependent on other applications so we can provide those details those app details here to make a dependency of this app to those so another is the screenshot we can provide the relative screenshot files information here so i will do it later also this is the platform that the dependent platform that i am using because currently i am using online sandbox so the platform is this 1.0.0.0 and the application is current version is 18 so this is the 18 as you can see all the app files have 18 this is the id range that i am using to develop this app so every object will be in this range this is the help url for this app you can provide your url if you have already a domain for your application here you can see 
show my code to true so when you make it true then you can debug from the another extensions also if any error occurred during the runtime when you are in a debugging mode so this will give you the exact location of that error and next is runtime here i am using business center 2021 release web one because i am using the latest version of business central online so this is the latest runtime environment i am using so now app.json is done so let's deploy this app again or publish this app by directly hitting or pressing f5 or you can just go to view command palette and then search for publish here you can see publish with debugging or without debugging so i am making it with debugging so publish process start and here you can see another app is created now with the default publisher replaced with the braces us and the class app without a space is replaced with the class app with the space and then the version dot app file so let's move to this extension page refresh this page for one time and let's see what is happened behind the scenes so again here i can see description is changed previously it was default publisher now this is the brace is us and the name is also changed with a space so uh, when i click on this this will open the details of this extension now here you can see this is the name of the extension this is the description this is the version version is same and the app publisher name is now the brace is us now here you can see some other links available terms and condition when i click on this this will move to my website when i click on privacy statement this is uh, moved to my other website when i click on this website this is trying to access the class app i didn't deploy the class app uh, to this location that's why it's giving me error right now uh, but later on do it and when i click on help this will move to my blog page of microsoft dynamics community so this is how we can do the changes in app.json this is so simple this is so easy you can do it whenever you are creating your app i hope you understand how you can do the changes in app.json so whenever any customer is downloading your app or using your app they can easily see the extension configurations and details they can easily see the more information related to your app from this page and they can look into all the articles all the urls to understand how they can use your extension so i hope you understand why the app.json is important while developing an extension so do like and subscribe to my channel for more videos in next video i'm gonna show you how you can prepare and folder structure to your extension and then later on you can do your development thank you for watching